I think my camera's crooked. <laughs> Uh, I've got camera number five going. It's recording and the battery is full. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to try and get through this and hope the battery doesn't die. And this is exactly what I'm going to talk about today. Are you ready for this? We're going to talk about energy, why these batteries keep draining, and a lot of things that are going on right now that are a little bit weird. Okay, let's hope for the best here. I'm going to look up some information about energy because these battery drainings, it's not, a, it's not a personal thing. It's actually a very positive thing. Just like the Schumann resonance, uh, you know, it raises that frequency. It puts out, uh, you know, a free electromagnetic field and it can be generated through our emotions, our feelings, and of course, raising our frequency. What does that mean? This is very cool. Are you ready for this? Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. Here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. I'm back. All right, we're going to talk about this electromagnetic field, why all my batteries are dying all of a sudden, and it's happening a lot, why the internet is going down, why we're seeing all these changes. I just felt a real shift, and I want you to get ready for it. Last time I said this was a few months before COVID. And I told you I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was going to be global and it was going to be big and it was going to be life changing. I feel the same way, but it's going to be something different. It's going to be more, let's just say, in the spiritual realms, the power, the shift of frequencies. It's going to be something really big and you're going to feel it. Now, there's science. And then there's woo-woo, right? No, it's all one thing. We call it woo-woo when we don't understand it. And sometimes we put names to things that aren't quite accurate. We're learning more and more. And of course, science always is going to poo-poo all this stuff. We don't like poo-poo. All right, so let's start with, please subscribe to my channel. It keeps me going because this is free for you. Yeah, hopefully we have to watch ads once in a while, but uh, I want to get the message out to everyone that we're going into very interesting times. You sense the shift, the spiritual shift, the big quantum field that we're connecting to now beyond what we thought we were. We're recognizing that we are all things. We are all powerful. There's nothing you cannot change in your life. Nothing. You know, those Akashic records, they're being formed by you at all times. So somebody can read them, but you can change them. So even Akashic record readers will tell you it is something that is constantly evolving and we have free will so never think that something's in stone you go to see these mediums these psychics and uh maybe wasting your money because maybe somebody isn't really good at tuning into that could tell you something scary and then you create it right well you can create it now and no matter what they tell you good or bad right according to what you want you desire you have full control over it. So why don't you just design your own future and decide what that is? What is it right now? Everything you do and all the outcome comes from that belief. You change your beliefs. That's all you have to do. We're going to talk about today that because that really controls what is called the electromagnetic field, which is actually a false term according to Gemini. Is it Gemini? Yeah. It used to be Bard, Google's chat GPT uh, twin, is telling me that it's really electronic uh, impulses that we have. Not a, it's not an electronic uh, electromagnetic field. Everybody has it, but ours is so low. Why do some people turn off watches? I'm one of them. Um, well, some people have a condition, they say, <laughs> a condition that they have a stronger uh, electronic impulse uh, going through their body. What is that? All right, so we talked about the Schumann resonant. I looked that up. There's no real explanation for it. In fact, I was expecting something scientific, and it, there isn't. It is the electronic field between that here and the ionosphere, uh, out there that's actually protecting us, but it changes. 
It changes. What's changing it? We're changing it. It's a frequency. We're a frequency. Everything is a frequency. Everything is a vibration that creates the physical world. So my vibration determines whether I'm a pillow or a person or a tree. Uh, it just, it's what determines how that energy is being expressed, but it's still not separate. So my electronic field, my field, my frequency, is affecting that tree out there and, and vice versa. What we're doing right now, and I talk about the tipping point, and you guys know I'm going to you know, talk about my book again because it's really, really resonating with people and they're getting it. It's really going deep into this and the tipping point and what the final chapter is called the knowing. This is when we go into the space that we don't have to have answers anymore. But I'm going to give you some explanations today because I want you to really think about this. The batteries that I've been killing off, like uh, this is number five now, uh, hopefully it'll survive, so, so far so good. Uh, why have I gone through five video cameras and all the batteries died and will not recharge? None of them. All different manufacturers. My computer went down, my Mac. I had to get a brand spanking new Mac. Okay, maybe it was old. We can have a lot of reasons, but it's happening so frequently now, it's beyond noticeable or coincidence. There aren't real coincidences, right? What is that? I believe, I believe, and I have really thought about this. I know thinking can get you in trouble, but I believe that there are people walking around here who automatically came here with a much more powerful uh, electronic, let's say, say frequency in their body, impulse, or pulses, that's how we're, you know, everything communicates, your brain, your nerve endings, your muscles. I believe that they came here with a stronger one and that that is purposeful. And so you might be one of these people, there's millions of them here, that purposefully are to raise the frequency of the planet. It is their mission. They're most likely going to be the ones that are going to raise their frequency and will affect electronic things because that is what we are really ultimately, right? We are energy. So of course we're going to affect it. If I have a higher frequency, it's going to affect things. I believe if you're experiencing any of this, it's because we are changing the frequency of the entire human uh, species. I do believe this. I think it's raising. I think this is an example. Get ready. I think we're going to see the internet going out. It's already happening. It's just happening too frequently now. Uh, things are not talking to each other. The lack of communication between systems that has been so fragmented and separated, like humans, is not functioning together anymore. So if I'm not talking to somebody else, and we let's say we have 100 people in a, uh, a village, and nobody talks to each other, and nobody organizes anything, you'd starve to death. Well, I planted a seed, but, oh, well, I forgot to tell you that, and you're supposed to water it, and, and you're supposed to, you know, and it goes on and on. This is what's happening in our world. It's so fragmented, and people are very selfish, thinking about themselves, and, you know, what, what am I going to get, and, oh, I'm going to hoard because I have to protect me. You can't. It's impossible because you are the other. What you put out to somebody else, you will receive 10 times, 100 times it's going to come back to you. This is critical. Giving, community, communication, compassion, you have to go into the high frequency and stop separating yourself from anybody. It will create dysfunction in your life and you're putting into the collective. And what you put out, you receive. Give and you shall receive. So more than ever, we have to come together as a unified source. Well, that's what we are. It's playing out the separation. We've done it. We've gone to the darkness. We're going back into light. You're going to see a lot of things not functioning very well. I think you're going to see some shortages, but it's not going to be bad stuff. It's going to be the things that have been excess and negative. All the excess food uh, that, you know, with plastic and, and all the chemicals sprayed on, you're going to see this start to be come short. Why? First of all, we're going to start transferring our attention to things that are more natural and healthier. So we're going to create a new world, and that is nothing to be feared. 
So when you see shortages, ask yourself, what's, what's a shortage of? It's already happening. I'm seeing it. And it's gradual, and I don't. there's not going to be some one cataclysmic thing. You're going to see some just big changes about how we think about the world. One of the biggest things is, and I want you guys to stop using these words like evil. One of the big, biggest things is that we are realizing that we have been walking around like automatons, allowing a very small percentage of people to control us, to tell us what to do. And then when they get up and they, you know, give their speeches, it's all bull crap. It's all marketing. It's all marketing. It's just defending their positions of whatever abuses they have. And they're, they're in ignorance. They really don't know that what they're doing is wrong. I mean, they intentionally live that way. Of course, they intentionally do it. But they're in such density, they don't understand the repercussions of it. They don't understand how huge it is. They're in survival mode, protection, power, ego, all that stuff. Any separation is of a lower frequency. Any separation, and I mean any separation, okay? If we didn't have separation, we wouldn't go into these defense modes and, uh, you know, taking sides. So you're going to see this. The density is going to fight harder because it knows it's losing its grip, and we are no longer in the trance and saying, I will go buy these things that, oh, by the way, are poisonous to everything and everyone. Oh, let's give money to the cures for this and this and this. You want to cure it? Start living a healthy life. Eliminate all the things that are causing these illnesses in the first place. Get ready for this. You're going to see people saying, uh, uh, no, no. Who are you to tell me what I should do? I watched television. I watched television. Every single, every single ad was a pharmaceutical. And every single one of them said, may cause death, depression, suicide. It, it, it went, and I thought, you, oh, I'm going to get rid of a rash. You might die or have a heart attack or be depressed, but then we'll give you another pill to do this. And we're, we're looking at the same, this is insanity. We're realizing the insanity of how we've been living. But we have been accepting this. We hear this and we take it anyways. No more. I'm not giving you medical advice here. I'm telling you that you should always look at your options because we have the ability to heal, heal ourselves. Have you ever heard of alien, um, I, should, I shouldn't say alien, extraterrestrials, our neighbors have abducted people? Right, wrong, good, bad, whatever. We don't really have those answers because we live in fear, so we think everything's bad, you know. So they have healed people. They've healed people. I had a spontaneous healing. I had beings come in while I was asleep, and I was aware of them. I had them heal my foot. Spontaneous. I went from having to go get surgery to waking up with zero pain and not knowing what that was. I was aware that it was being worked on. I heard it pop my foot. I heard it pop. I felt it being moved around. I was half awake. I, I even said, who's doing that? Fell back asleep, woke up. Yeah, something else is healing us. What is that? They're in such a high frequency. There's no illness on that frequency. I illness comes from the imbalance again. So remember, illness is imbalance. All right. It's not communicating properly because you're fueling it with lower frequencies. And so it's functioning on that level and lower frequencies, what? They, they, they don't take care of each other, right? So we have to go into that. So the more you go into community, compassion, live the simple life, all these things, you're going to see things start to go down that if you're in the lower frequency, you'll be threatened by it. Everyone else is going to say, finally, finally, that's, that it's transforming. It, nothing, I always say dissolve, but it doesn't really dissolve. Dissolve means it doesn't go out of existence. It just means it transforms into something else. So once you create a situation or energy, it's never negative. It's always a learning experience and an opportunity. Everything transforms. Now, I have, you guys have seen, seen this, is it over here? Digital Explorers. I'm teaching people how to live in passion. They're so excited, and we actually create businesses around it. We focus 
on that amazing thing that you're going to do in your life. And you may not even know what it is. We find out what it is. You come into the training and you spend your whole time just going into imagination and dreams and things and we, we create it, reality out of it. And we create income out of it. And it's something we've never imagined before. Why haven't we? Because we've been told we should do certain things and we're supporting the systems that pollute the planet. And so in order to do that, there has to be brainwashing saying, this is what you need to do to survive and then get the money, money, and then, then you'll be happy. This is right. We've been told that. Be responsible, pay the bills. How? Why should you ever do anything you don't love doing and earn money doing it? That's a real double negative. No wonder people think money's evil. It's how you're earning it. It's who runs those companies and the damage they're doing. And we're going along with you. You cannot blame somebody else if you are participating. You're going to empower yourself in a way that you never imagined possible. All right. I am going to try and get on some talk shows. I've, I've been on Jeff Mara's uh, talk show. He's amazing. And, uh, but he focuses pretty much on near-death experiences. I want to hit all these subjects. The near-death, that's just another illusion that you carry over to the other side based on your beliefs. All right? So you don't want to go over to that other side if you don't have this in check. Get this in check because when you go to the other side, you'll experience the heaven. That's just a state of frequency in another illusion outside of the body. So what can we expect? We will, we will have shortages. We will have outages. We will have um, all kinds of things that are going to force us to live a different way, and it's going to all be positive. All of it. Why? Because what we've been doing this thus far is going to destroy us if we don't change it, and we are already changing it. It's happening. I told you the tipping point. We're Boom, we're in it. So strap on your seatbelt. We've got two years of some very intense changes before we start to realize, wait a second, this is just a new way of life and it's beautiful. We don't have to teach our kids lies anymore. Uh, we don't have to uh, g give them uh, toys and things that are polluting the planet. We don't have to, to hand them a cell phone with uh, games on there of people killing each other. Here, practice. Here's your game. I won't name some of them, you know them. And you give those to your kids and you say it's harmless and then they go into high schools here and they shoot up everybody. This is real stuff and we got to take full responsibility for it. If you guys are in my free uh, video series, I teach you how to move past fear. We break through it. Fear is an experience here. Don't miss out on it. It motivates you, right? And it can be fun when you fear, like, why would you jump out of a plane if, it, if you didn't have the fear? It's breaking past the fear and, you know, conquering it that makes it so much fun. But we've let it get out of control. We allow it to control our behavior, our beliefs. You know, when you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, here's what I want you to do. I want you to focus completely. I would like you to. You don't have to. It's your choice. If you want to change your life right now and go into the higher frequency, I want you to Take every single thought and opportunity and turn it into something positive. Positive change, uh, solutions, giving. If there's a problem and you're sitting there complaining, you have to do something about it. Sorry. Oh, you know what this is? Spiritual butt kick. Why do I say that? Because you are the all-powerful one source expressing itself as an individual human being. You and I are the same thing. We are just a vibration. It's like, I'm a finger, you're a finger, somebody's a thumb, whatever, but it's on the same body. And without that, you don't function the same way. Are you ready to go into this era? Because I just wanted to express to you that this whole electromagnetic field is going to get more powerful and we will affect things. It's not a negative thing. So we always think, oh, I'm being attacked by energy vampire. You are energy. How can... You'd have to give it up. You have to give it up, and that's by going to lower frequency. You are then handing power over, allowing somebody to uh, take over your power because you are going into a weak, weaker form of that power. All right? It's just a choice. You can change it like that because you ultimately never lose your power 
we are the ultimate one. But beliefs can make it so. You can make any reality. Any reality. Are you ready to go into something amazing? I want you to get ready because I felt very, very strongly yesterday, which was my birthday, I had this very strong feeling that something really big is coming. And it's not a cataclysmic event. It's something really big is shifting. So don't tell yourself something's attacking me. I love you. No, nothing has power over you. How can it? You are the power. So hold tight, put on your seatbelt, and you stay laser focused on raising that frequency. Something big is coming. Something big is coming. Are you ready for that? Mm-hmm. All right. So again, please subscribe. You can share these videos. Come on over and check out Digital Explorers. If you want to start an online business, I'll show you exactly how to do it. We will find out what your passion is. We're going to create multiple income streams, step by step. There's no technology. We don't teach any of that stuff. We do all the fun stuff the way it should have been since the beginning of time. There's no such thing as time. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. That is from the Master Key System, one of my favorite books. Maybe we'll start reading that again, okay? In fact, I think maybe we'll start doing those videos because it talks about the power you wield. And of course, my book tells you exactly what's going on. You are powerful. I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Namaste.